Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what was the most traumatic and shocking thing learning about 30-year mortgages. In fact, I first learned about how a 30-year mortgage worked when I first took Velocity Banking in 2017. Now, back then I was making only 20 grand a year, and I was just like, why am I even taking this course? You know, back then, and I believe they still probably do it now today, uh, they were advertising the course like, hey, you know, learn how to pay off your mortgage in five to seven years. And I was like, joke's on you. I'm never going to buy a home, right? <laughs> because, again, I was making only 20 grand a year. And I don't know what compelled me to took it. Maybe just because I felt like I don't know how life works. And, you know, school never teaches you anything about finance or doing your taxes or anything like that. So I was just like, well, I might as well take it. And, again, the most shocking thing to me when I took the course back then was learning how a 30 year mortgage worked. And it really left me, I don't know if it was just anger or depression or just like, what the F and I'll, I'll tell you why. When I was a kid, you know, every time I asked like somebody, like I knew whether it's friend or even family member, sometimes even my parents, like, Hey, can I get some money uh, or just borrow some money? And they would be like, making it the biggest deal on earth that I, I asked for like five to 10 bucks or sometimes even 20. Do you ever have like family members or relatives or uh, anybody in your family or your friends like that? Cause I had plenty of them and I grew up in a nice neighborhood. So I was like, what's what? And, and it always left an impression in my mind that I was less valuable than money. I don't know if that makes sense. Right. And one of the things that really, angered me or pissed me off is that you know here's the thing if i ever borrowed money or somebody borrowed money from me and <laughs> um i asked them hey hey you know if i borrow if you borrow 100 bucks from me and uh, you have to pay me back 150 most people would like freak out and think like I'm like the worst person on earth, right? You kind of you, you kind of get the feeling of that. Even and you don't even have to ask your friend, right? But here's the funny thing: if a bank asks you to do that, or if a bank asks your friend to do that, they'll say yes. And this kind of goes back to my theory about how people will do these bizarre and crazy things for strangers than they will for like their friends or family members. And I truly believe, as a society, or just as human beings in general, we were meant for that. Like we were meant to actually grow in a tribe and learn together as a village. Like I truly believe that. But so many people, and you know, this is this is how I felt when I was a kid, treat each other like they're an annoyance so that they can go get a job and make money. And then once they go ahead and work hard and make money, they treat like they're other people in their life, like they're some sort of annoyance. And so it's like, what kind of message does that send to the other people? Like, they're, they're not worth it, right? But here's the funny thing, to, you know? I'm going to tell you a story of mine where I actually taught a 15-year-old how a mortgage works. You know what he said right after I taught him how the mortgage works, 30-year mortgage? Because his mom's a nurse, right? And nurses, even though they make good money, they work very hard, stressful hours. And it was like, my mom worked so hard for nothing. I mean, after I taught him, he got it in like five seconds. That's what came out of his mouth, right? And, you know, when I, again, you don't even have to teach velocity banking to people. You just teach them how mortgage works. And that was a crazy thing. And I remember, like, when I first learned this, because, uh, you know, back in the day, I was just like, oh, 3% mortgage, that's that's fantastic. And then later on, I found out that's a 50% uh, total interest that you pay after 30 years. And then 5.4%. Is a hundred percent interest, and then nine point four percent is two hundred percent interest. So it's like, okay, well, how many houses are paying for at this rate? Three, one for me, and two to the bank, right? And it left me very angry how all the people I know would essentially do this for a bank, but they would never help me out in anything that I needed. Like they'd literally pay fifty to hundred percent interest to a random institution. Random stranger, because that's how we're all society, uh, a conditioned by society, but they'll never do anything to lift a finger for your friend, family, or neighbor. Kind of a sad society that we live in, right? And that's what always made me sad 
or maybe I don't even know if sad's the right word, but it always felt surreal learning about this that this is like the reality for most people, and they won't lift to do a thing to lift a finger to kind of help their neighbor, you know, financially or monetary wise. Like, you know, if I ask my friend, hey, can you give me 50% interest on, you know, what I lend you? They'll say, heck no, right? Like, what are you talking about? You know, 12% or whatever, right? Like 12% total rate of return. But, you know, they happily give 50 to 200 to a bank. And that's what made me sad. And here's the thing. For most Americans, owning a home is like a giant hangover. Why do I say this? Because if you ever look in Google, what percentage of... (laughs) of people regret buying a home it's this big 93 percent figure and i'm always amazed by this like to me this seems like unreal but it's real (laughs) yeah so anyways if you're interested in joining our group and learning not only about how mortgages work but philosophy banking financial literacy literacy real estate investing go ahead and click the google form link below if you're only interested in let's say velocity banking spreadsheet i'm actually going to try to set up something where you have to pay let's say 99 cents and i'll give you the spreadsheet because uh going forward i'm going to spend less time kind of actually um responding to email requests for the spreadsheet because i'm just looking for serious students so if you're a serious student go ahead and click the google form link below other than that have a great day everybody we'll speak next time